So we're here at the ID Tech X show here now. Who are you? Matt, Matt Said, I'm the division manager for uh, high performance materials and marketing divisions. So at Hitachi Chemicals, you do uh, what kind of stuff do you do? What's There's a variety here? of products. We have a total of six products uh, demonstrating here in this booth. And, uh, so what this, is this one showing? This is the copper uh, paste. Uh, it's a low temperature centering. Uh, you can uh, print it uh, directly on a plastic substrate such as this. And you can see it's a flexible. Empowering this LED devices. All right. Uh, this is the material right here. Yes, uh, this uh, square is the copper pad that we uh, uh, print on uh, into fine prints, and also this is a coil just just for illustration purposes. And these are the very intricate, uh, small, um, fine patterns that we uh, did in our uh, R and D lab. All right. And what are you showing here? Ah, this is our uh, washing machine. Washing machine. <laughs> so we um, we decided to uh, pull this washing machine in uh, to uh, illustrate uh, our waterproof uh, stretchable encapsulant. So right here is uh, it's still lighting up, and is a what is this that's going on here? It's a flexible solution. So let me pull this out here. So what we have here is a module that has a, a wireless transfer coil in here. And some LEDs on this side. And a coin cell battery with our stretchable encapsulants. Um, maybe a little bit hard to see, but these are fine uh, copper lines that's been uh, uh, laser upgraded uh, into this pattern. So this is uh, completely flexible and uh, stretchable as well. Stretchable, flexible, and waterproof. That's right. All right. And now uh, you can uh, activate it. It still works. That's cool. And what are you showing over here? Takeuchi-san. Come no, no, no. This is my colleague uh, from Japan. Uh, right. Right. Uh, he's responsible for this marketing product of uh, stretchable. Yeah. It says smart gel. Smart yes. gel. It's a shock absorbing uh, gel. So this has go uh, smart gel inside, and this has go normal uh, resin inside. And you drop the ball. This has got better shock absorbent. So it's just inside. Yes. It's some gel. This is like gel of smart gel, well, gel, well, smart gel. And this is like normal resin. So what is it for? What can this be used for? This is like, well, sports activity, like is related to all the shock. So, so shock absorbing. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of potential, right? So the stuff that you show here is like um, component materials? Most of the materials and we... We illustrated uh, in building uh, this uh, demo uh, to show the potential of applications uh, so the customer can uh, use uh, their imagination to find opportunities and applications. And so, and same thing with this uh, product here. What is this one? It's a memory shape polymer, uh, which uh, essentially is, is a film that we can uh, make crease and fold. So you can see the folding lines here. Uh, when you elevate uh, this film uh, to uh, uh, 40 to 70 degrees C, then it can return back to its original um, uh, shape without the crease. Similar to, you can see this video here. We stretch out, extend it, uh, so now uh, it's uh, elongated permanently. Uh, but when we put it back in a, in a hot water uh, that's uh, about 70 degrees C, it would uh, return to the coils, to the original shape. Wow. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of research and development here going on. Like uh, this is uh, the R material R&D for future of the, this industry, right? Yes, and uh, we're only showing a glimpse of uh, what we can do uh, here, and uh, we hope uh, we uh, will be able to come back next year to uh, enlighten you uh, more uh, materials in the future. So what do you think about the ID Tech X show? It's excellent. Uh, this is our third year doing it, and uh, each year uh, we're growing. Uh, we had uh, 10 by 10 booth, now we're at 20 by 10. There's a lot of people interested in uh, the potential use of this, right? Yes, and yes. And what's the next step? They say some, they see something good, they say we're interested, and then you proceed with the, something like closer to mass production or...? 
I think case by case, um, ideally we like to engage with the customer more to find out what their needs are. Um, also, uh, what other the attribute of our material that uh, um, is uh, um, uh, um, more beneficial for their current incumbent materials. And then we can find opportunities to uh, work uh, our products into their devices. So.